most studies suggest rarely do studies ever like show if that makes sense yeah. so like showing is like our confidence is extremely high that a plus b equals c here and, yeah. and if you replicate it just like this you're going to get a plus b equals c and that's yeah. why you have like replicated studies a lot of times like on the same thing basically trying to suss out like what is the truth you know yeah. but most of the time if you're using a study to um justify what you're doing i feel like you always have to understand that this study is suggesting you yeah. know it's yeah. not it's not like the whole picture it's just like a strong it could be a, it could be a weak suggestion it oh, could yeah. be a strong suggestion you know yeah, exactly. and then you got to take your experience and if yeah. your coach who's worked with like hundreds of people thousands of people you know of a, and especially like of a certain level and and you've oh, seen yeah. it enough times like that's a good sample size unless you got a memory issue uh brain wise yeah. <laughs> you don't know about that's yeah. a pretty good sample size to apply what the research has suggested correct and, yeah and then get something out of it you know yeah but no, you gotta you gotta understand right. those parts and i don't think yeah. people always put all that together they just yeah. like oh this i have a study so it's the truth it's the truth exactly you know? yep yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and then they go the and then the the people who hate studies are like oh studies are all shit they're all blah. like they're never exactly. gonna and i think you can go both ways but once again it comes down to like where where's that balance you know like exactly. how do you actually how do you actually progress forward with yeah. with the knowledge yeah.